There has been quite a lot of talk since the vote that economists got it wrong because actually the economy has been doing fine since Brexit. I think what this ignores is that the economic forecasts were largely about what happens in the medium to long term and the losses to UK GDP year after year. And that hasn't changed at all. A lot of economists feel that somehow the communication between uh, academic experts and the public didn't happen. Or at least if it did, it, then it didn't matter and we need to learn something about the, the weight that people give to economic issues in this kind of debate as well. So there has, it's fair to say, been some introspection among economists about do we need to communicate better, what went wrong in getting our message across, or in fact was it that the message wasn't important to the general public. One of the things that we're learning from all the research into how the vote went in different parts of the country is that voting to leave was highly correlated with being in an old post-industrial area and uh, having a lower level of education and perhaps some cultural factors as well that, that mattered. So I think there is a lesson about paying more attention to the geography of the economy, which people have been doing well and which haven't. This isn't new because the automation and globalisation that affected people's jobs and livelihoods dates back to the 1980s. And I think we've not had a good policy response to what happens to people in that kind of area. If there's going to be more automation, if we're going to have a shock to the economy from Brexit, as pretty much all economists think, then that's something that we ought to get right pretty quickly.